All right, everybody, we got another great video for you today. Uh, we're here with Brian Cusco and Triple B TV. Triple B TV. You can see that little logo in the background right behind his head. Whoop, whoop. Um, yeah, so you're going to want to stay tuned for this one. Have some good stuff for you. Hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> So starting off, Triple B TV, Brian Cusco vlog channel, uh, Search of Bloods, Reptiles. You are like building a YouTube empire. Yeah. And it's going pretty well. Like you got a lot of subscribers. Talk to us about that. What's your vision for uh, your YouTube career? Oh, I just have fun with it, man. That's rule number one is, is having fun. And that's mm -hmm. the thing that I want to stay rule number one because I've, I've done things before where I started as, as fun. And it, it stays fun. I played music professionally for a long time. And it can get to a point, though, when you're doing so, even something like that, it starts to feel like work if you push it in, I guess, the wrong direction. Um, and I, so I, that's one thing I don't – it is work. Don't get me wrong. It is work. You guys know. You guys upload videos all the time. It, it's work. Absolutely. It takes work. It takes effort. But I, as long as it's always fun, that's the main thing for me. That's, again, rule number one is that I'm having fun making the videos. If it comes to a point when I'm like, oh, I'm not really having fun doing this, I will – diverge and do something else because mm -hmm. it's it's the key component I'm, I'm fortunate that it's working out in a way that i get to do something fun and it's able to help me support my family um a lot of that has to do with uh freedom breeder right there as well i, I produce the freedom so we got the Tristables reptiles i got the brian cusco vlog channel we got the triple b tv i also produce the freedom breeder channel so all the all the videos that go up on the freedom breeder channel that's all me filming and editing um mm -hmm. on there as well so keeps me pretty busy it's it's a lot of fun. <laughs> it's yeah. I guess uh, four four videos a week uh, standard, and then sometimes there's more. Uh, I've guess I've got I'm uploading episode 222 of Triple B TV uh, wow. tomorrow, and I've done about I'm on vlog episode 441 oh, coming wow. up, and I've, that's not including live streams. And that in the Freedom Breeder channel, we've been doing an episode every week for over two years now. Wow. And between this and selling reptiles, you're doing this full time, right? Yes, yes, full time. Awesome. Um, he has to be. He he has kids. You can't can, like. There's can no way he video. does not sleep. He does not eat. <laughs> I wasn't. I mean, obviously, I didn't start with the full time, but I was making videos for a good while and still working um, with my uncle. When I moved back from Hawaii, I, I jumped in with my uncle and started doing some construction stuff with him for a couple of years. So I was doing that while I started the channel as well, and that mm -hmm. definitely. I, I operate pretty well on little sleep, which is very helpful if you're doing stuff like we're doing, because there's not <laughs> as much time for sleep as you as you would like to think, especially like you say with three kids running around. It's uh, sleep is <laughs> comes few and far between. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. So, um, yeah, you, I mean, you've got a lot of YouTube and, and video and stuff and music, and and we saw. Uh, your little clip with uh, Billy for his birthday. You did a really good job. Oh, that was uh, fun. Thank music. you. <laughs> that was really cool, actually. I, I really enjoyed it. Um, and uh, so, but you, you're you more than that. You're more than just the social media stuff. You also have some cool animals and, uh, you know, you're very knowledgeable in the reptiles. You travel the world for reptiles. So maybe we can tap into some of that and see, you know, what animals you have going on. And I also wanted to talk to you a little bit about um, the sex linking I know you did a video about that recently and uh, just to talk about that with, you know, who's watching on our channel. Sure. Sure. Um, just to be clear, I, I'm not an expert in any kind of reptile. Key. I don't consider myself to be an expert on, on any reptile subject. I I'm going to cut are... that. I'm going to cut that actually. <laughs> oh, I'm just going to say expert. I'm going to put expert at the bottom. <laughs> Dude, no. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many people out there that are so knowledgeable and have done so much research and know so much that, uh, and that's a big part of these videos I feel is finding those people and have, having them share their knowledge. Like some of the people I've had on, like Eugene or like the guys you, you're about to have John on. John knows a lot too that he picked up from yeah. Robert Bruce and having Robert Bruce on, he actually did it. <laughs> Don't look at that. Oh, I can't block it. It's stuck there. Oh man. <laughs> but I wish I hadn't, I literally just threw away my little visual cues for the sex link th video that I did. And those things I think help people a lot having those visual things to look at. Okay. Um, but, but we can, we can talk about that. I, I feel like I understand it fairly well. 
but this right here i know you can't see it on the main screen but you'll be able to see it on the second camera that's fine so this is a phantom coral glow um het pied that we produced here he actually is going to a new home as soon as uh shipping seems to be safe i know right now ship your reptiles has um, said that there have been 24 to 40 hour delays yeah. which is not okay with me i won't i won't ship right now until it, those warnings come off of the website mm -hmm. um but this guy is is gorgeous and he does have those little black spots that we all know coral glow and, and banana to start to develop in as they age as you can see on this video those black spots coming through on this guy here i'll show you guys over here too so you can actually see him mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, okay yeah. he looks he looks better on this camera over here though <laughs> that's awesome and let, and let me pull out his brother real quick so this is his brother right here and he is a super coral glow het pied and the one thing that you can tell right away is that he doesn't have any of those spots. And it's my understanding and in, in, in my experience from what I've seen, every Super Coral Glow that I've seen has this kind of lighter cream color to them. And they don't ever develop those those black spots. So that's okay. just a, kind of a visual cue of Super Coral Glow versus um, versus a regular Coral Glow right there. Yeah, I agree with that. It's uh, You don't see the spots as much. Every once in a while, you might get like one or two, but very few, it seems, with... Uh... Super bananas, super coral glows, and um, I like the the het pied. I think makes the uh, the outside of the pattern a little bit slightly darker. So I think it looks really cool, um, even though it's not you know a visual thing. But I, I think that it, it does have slightly enhanced darkness. Yeah, a little um, more contrast cool. there. True, true, and yeah. I'm I'm noticing that too now that I'm looking this guy on the on the monitor here. Um, so one thing that I didn't mention that somebody brought up in the comments, and I think I actually pinned their comment on that video, was that I, I didn't bring up the fact that most snakes are not XY chromosome, like like we are. Ball pythons and boas are kind of the one exception. There's a group of snakes called uh, Henophidia. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but Henophidia um, encapsulates pythons and boas, and they, they are all XY <laughs> 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 they're, all, they're all x x y you know male males yeah, yeah. are x y and females are x x and all females um, can only pass on the x chromosome because the egg only has x x um mm -hmm. versus 80 percent of the rest of snakes that are under a uh, canophidia I, again i don't know if i'm pronouncing that correctly but it's c-a E N O P H I D I A Canophidia, and that's eighty percent of the rest of snakes, like colubrids. I think even rattlesnakes fall into that, and elephant trunk snakes, and a bunch of other snakes, but mostly mostly colubrids. And they are all Z Z and Z W versus the X X and X Y. And another oh. main difference there is that the Z W are the females, and the Z Z are the <laughs> males. So. Okay. The, the females are the one that determine sex by passing on either the Z or the W versus the males in ball pythons passing on the X or the Y to determine sex. Okay. So it's something interesting that I left out of that video that somebody commented on. I was like, yeah, it's a very good point. I'm most snakes right now. I didn't know most, that. Yeah. Most snakes are not XX and XY. Most are ZZ and ZW. Yeah, that's uh, that's something when you're talking about sex link stuff, it's important, I think, to note that most snakes are not on that xy thing is there any specific questions you guys well, I, met, I got that video you guys can link that video no problem that sh yeah i kind of explain how they pass on you know, maybe one of the questions that somebody had after the fact is uh if you can produce a super coral glow female maker or something like i don't remember exactly some of the questions but if you have a super coral glow whether it's a male or female all of the babies are going to be coral glow because you got the coral glow trait residing on both chromosomes and when the parents pass on their chromosomes no matter which one they pass on whether it's the mother passing on the x or the x she's going to pass on an x chromosome with super with with coral glow on it and it, all the babies will be heterozygous for coral glow meaning their visual coral glow versus right. homozygous for coral glow making them super coral glows mm -hmm. um sure. so yeah so supers produce um 50 percent chance of male or female you know basically uh mm -hmm. and all that other stuff i, I mean I, I talked about a bit but you guys have any specific well, I, questions I, about it i think it was one of the most helpful especially for me videos on the subject you did a really good job on it so we're going to link it down below for sure so people can check out yeah we can put a card in yeah yeah thanks <laughs> um I, I tried to make sure that it was pretty clear and i thought that the visual you know having that visual to look at would be helpful as well um, yeah, a lot of people just do it on the fly and the fact that you had the visual aids there really put it together for me. So. 
And anytime I make a video like that, the, the one of the great benefits to making a video like that is you end up doing extra research of things maybe you didn't already know. And, and hopefully a lot of other people do that as well, you know, research as much as possible before you put out a video about the thing you're talking about. Yeah. But I end, I end up learning more. It's the same way when you're teaching somebody something, you end up learning more about the subject that you're teaching. At least that's what I found. I've been keeping them down here on the side so I don't have to keep getting up and, and walking around and grabbing them. I've got these little uh, Freedom Breeder um, rodent transport tubs. And they, they actually work really well for putting snakes in, too. Um, well, makes sense. I, I, I use these when I tra was traveling. Before we had this whole corona thing going on, and I was still able to travel and do shows, I would bring a lot of snakes and animals in these. Yeah, you were doing educational shows, right? Yeah, it's a little bit bummer. Well, big bummer that uh, all of we had the entire county libraries booked for this summer. And they oh, just wow. last week, they, uh, they canceled. You know, wow, we're, that sucks, we're looking, man. we're looking to do some kind of virtual thing, yeah. but the tough thing there is like, that's a big part of the program is actually having the animals there for kids to touch like yeah. virtual, virtual program is just, I don't yeah, know, we're yeah. still looking at doing something like it potentially, but it's just not the same. The biggest value of the program is getting kids to be able to hold one of those animals. You know what I Absolutely. mean? Absolutely. Yeah. So what this, do we got here, man? <laughs> this right here, this is an Enchi Lesser. And he's possible at sunset. I uh, I think that he'll probably oh, prove out. But man. but what's really cool about this guy? His name's Mr. Pink, by the way. And if you've seen Reservoir Dogs, and you probably take a real quick guess as to why I named him Mr. Pink, um, <laughs> but he was the first ball python that we produced here at Triple B. Oh, awesome! And so he's very special for that wow. reason, and he'll always stay here for that reason. Your very first ball python that you produced there, and he's possible hat for sunset. Yeah, you, because you were like real early in the sunset project. Yeah, I was. I I got in on it pretty close to. Uh, you know, I, I wasn't in there. I know that uh, like Brock and and Brad and those guys had yeah. it definitely before I I was, and I think a couple other people. But I was, I may have been one of the first ten or so, or maybe even first five in on the project. That's possible. Yeah, you definitely were in early. I remember exactly all that. <laughs> Do you yeah, find was, that Het Sunset has any type of markers that you could see? It's something that there is something you can see. Yes, there is definitely something you can see. Um, added orange, believe it or not. If you look up in, in the alien heads, you can kind of see um, this flaming or not flaming, but it's actually inside the alien heads. And it's this, this more orange color. Like there's some Enchi cinnamons that I produced that were, you know, possible Het Sunset. That it was mm -hmm. just blatantly obvious. It's like this is not a normal Enchi cinnamon. Like there, the amount of orange coming up in the alien heads is just unbelievable. And on Enchis mm -hmm. too, it's kind of there's some bleeding from the that comes up from the belly that you can see. Um, okay, that's awesome. I don't, I, I don't want to claim know. that it's 100 percent good on the markers, but uh, as time goes on, I think it'll definitely come out. I know Brad and those guys are and Kevin are. are like yeah there's there's markers and you can see them it's pretty obvious and they've been working with it for a while you know too so they and they've been working with a lot of snakes longer than i have with their dad too <laughs> yeah yeah we have a couple of possible uh, head sunsets and we're like eh, we'll see what happens yeah you'll see like <laughs> right here i'm showing you right here this is this right here this orange stuff happening inside of that alien head on mm -hmm. this boy is is makes me think that he will end up proving i have not bred with this guy yet he's just been hanging out here kind of as a pet once i have um a female that i feel i want to throw him to, to to try and prove him out then i'll i'll do that because he is beautiful and i feel like you know being the kind of one of our flagship animals mr pink should pass on his genetics as well and have a turn at that right on absolutely but he hasn't yet but that's that's mr pink I got I got one more animal for you guys. Is that good? Yeah, yeah absolutely. You guys want to bring out a bunch more? I got, these are the ones I had planned. Um, this next one that I pull out, I was going to pull out my indigo snake, my male indigo snake, because he's easily my favorite animal here. Uh -huh. um, it's got to be. <laughs> I, he, he, he's, he's absolutely amazing and beautiful and stunning, but he's also very, very deep in shed. And okay. uh, there's always that cliche when you're, you know, of all the snakes are showing off, one of them is going to be in shed. Yeah. But, when this guy goes into the shed, it's a whole different world. It's not like, oh yeah, he's maybe he's in shed. It's like all the black of his belly turns white. His yep. eyes turn white. Like he, he looks like an old blind man, and he doesn't <laughs> look anything like he looks when he's not in shed. So yeah, yeah. I got this animal instead, and this is our male um, Marauke scrub python, it's patternless. And oh snap! This is gonna be, 
this is going to be fun. Here he is. Let me see if I can get him in focus here for you guys. And if I get a little wider shot there. And he he has become very awesome. He I've got um, a girlfriend as well. His girlfriend is not quite as bright and beautiful as he is. That's why I kind of like to pick him to show off when I'm doing off one of the two scrubs. And as far as pythons go, scrub pythons have become my favorite python species. Um, okay. Just because of their athleticism and how athletic they are when it comes to striking and the way they S up and just kind of everything that I would want to be if I was a snake. I would want to be a scrub <laughs> python. If I'm going to be a python, I would want I want to be a scrub. And how can you not love the scalation on the head of scrub python? Yeah, the scalation is amazing. And they get this incredible iridescence that is fortunately actually picking up right now on this B-roll shot. Oh, yes. That's nice. what we wanted to see right there. <laughs> Oh, and man. How many pattern lists are out there? Because that's not, the, not something I've ever seen. Pattern uh, I'm not sure. I couldn't tell you. I got this guy and his girlfriend from Dan Maliri uh, back in okay. 20, 2015, I believe it was. Mm -hmm. And, um, man, he's just always so much fun to bring out and, and play with. And not the easiest to film, just like most species that aren't ball pythons, you know. Mm -hmm. Very active snakes, for sure. Yeah, very active but he's he's calmed down a lot. This guy probably has bit me more than any other snake I've ever kept in my entire <laughs> life. Um, th you know, he would bite me probably sometimes twenty times in a single handling session. Wow! Wow! <laughs> <Kept her up. laughs> yeah, but you know, luckily you do that with them when they're babies, of course. And then, as you guys know, then you just work with them, and they eventually realize that you're not there to kill them, so they don't need to worry about trying to kill you. Yeah. And he's like he is now. I can, you know, I can pet him under the chin, and he's totally cool now compared to how he was when we were first getting to know each other. A lot of people don't realize that snakes are smart. You know what I mean? They can learn. Yeah, they definitely they definitely store stuff in that in that uh, head of theirs. When I was talking with Kevin, um, when I interviewed Kevin at Tinley, the one of the great points he brought up is that they also used to think that um, honeybees couldn't learn that they just didn't have any capacity up there in, in their neural net to retain information and actually learn but then it was proven that they they actually could so if a honeybee can learn a snake can most definitely learn absolutely yeah. <laughs> for sure man oh that's beautiful yeah he's he's one of my favorites one of my favorites to bust out i like to make a joke that i'm i'm working on scrub ball python hybrids so that we can get ball, <laughs> ball python morphs into scrub pythons but I, I i personally would never attempt that but uh it's it's fun to make the joke and get people triggered with the idea yeah, yeah. They, that, that might be, spin uh, some people up. comments below yeah. what are you talking about <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> i love what you guys are doing by the way man i like the way you guys are, are doing your channel i think your personality is bounce off each other real well i know we talked about this a little before we uh, went live officially but you guys are doing a good job and i think you guys are great unfortunately i've got to meet you guys in person before we had to do all this a couple times stuff, Tinley, you know, yeah. a couple yeah. times yeah and that forest at forest yeah. at forest yeah. i think the very first time um was the last time that brian came to tinley and yeah yeah he was helping yeah. helping set up helping set yeah. up and break down his booth over there that was that was because that was is that my first time to Tinley too? I don't remember. They all blend together after a while. They sure, they sure do. do. <laughs> Eight years ago, man. Yeah, it's been a little while. But yeah. Yeah, yeah it's always good. It's always good seeing you. And uh definitely enjoy, you know, being able to to talk with you and, and mess with you sometimes. When uh the last in October is when we did we sat at your table when nobody was there. We did a little film, and I stole one of your kids' shirts, like the kids' size shirt. Oh, that's right. <laughs> I remember that. I was like, I was like, uh, hey, I stole a shirt from you. I'm gonna tell people that I stole it like a thief, but I'm sending you money for it. And you're like, you're like, okay, whatever. And then I post it, and Ryan's like, we can't tell people that we stole it. We don't want people to think that we're thieves. And I'm like, no, it's the fun of it. <laughs> Yeah, come on. You'd be the first people I caught of that stealing my stuff. <laughs> yeah, that's that's really sad to say, actually. Like, yeah, terrible. The camera bag, man. What are you doing with the shirt? <laughs> terrible. <laughs> terrible. Uh, you have the worst luck in that. Yeah, yeah. It could be it could be a little better. Maybe I could pay a little closer attention to where I'm putting my stuff, but you know. <laughs> you just came back from Australia for like oh, yeah, second time. Dude. That was my no, that was my first time ever oh, to Australia. 
Yeah, that had to be amazing. How how was that? Dude, it was a triple a trip of a lifetime for sure, man. I've been that watching was... your videos on it, and it's I'm, yeah. I'm jealous. I've been wanting to go to Australia since I was like eight years old. Yeah, we had some very fortunate moments, dude. There was some rain and there was some weather that stopped us from finding as much stuff as we might have, but we still found plenty of cool species, even despite the weather. Luckily, we were there with a couple of locals, and they're also hardcore herpers, so we're we're like mm. gung ho going all day, all night herping every day you know what i mean that's um, awesome and that's what helped they actually found you know they were responsible for actually locating a lot of the stuff that we found um, nice a lot of it because I, I let them you know i sat in the back of the van a lot let other people have shotguns so that whoever's up front gets first first eyes on stuff you know but mm-hmm. uh, dude the, the owen pelly python i felt so oh wow conflicted about like sharing about it too much because a, I had just been talking to Brian, like right before I went on the trip, and he's like, "Yeah, Chandler was just out there, and they they found one, and they're like, there's a lot of people wondering if it was just a plant because they just were there the first day and they found one the first day, and then we're driving down the road, and there, there it is." I was like, "Ah, oh, that's awesome! Nobody's gonna believe us." <laughs> you pulled out of some guy's collection. We know what you did. <laughs> that's awesome. Okay. So, well, I appreciate you coming on. I don't want to take up all your time. I know you have uh, a lot more to do. Yeah, no, I, I appreciate you guys having me on, man. It's fun. I Dude, seriously, you guys. thanks for taking the time, man. Like, yeah. I know you had a really busy schedule. I personally, <laughs> I, just I love your channel and everything. And uh, oh, I'm trying to tell him how much I appreciate him because, you know, okay. he is an inspiration for me to want to do YouTube. So you know, I really appreciate you taking the time. Oh, that's big, man. That's huge. Thanks, man. <laughs> yeah, thank you guys again for having me on, man. I really appreciate it. Yeah, well, this has been great. I had fun. Me so. too, dude. <laughs> so thank you so much for coming on. If, guys, if you like this video... And of course you did because Brian's on it. Make sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave us a comment down below and uh, subscribe, please. Notification bell if you feel like it. No pressure. <laughs> See you next time. All right. I'm trying to tell him how much I appreciate him because, you that's know, okay. he is an inspiration for me to want to do YouTube. So you know, I really appreciate you taking the time. Wow. That's big, man. That's huge. Thanks, man. See, mine was better. Yeah, no, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't want to ruin it. This is what I love about you guys' channel, man. I love the the, the, the look of it. I would, I'm gonna kill you as soon as they turn this. I was, I was trying to hold in, like, all right, you don't have to break your arm, you know, like. <laughs> but, oh, uh, it's yeah, awesome. No pressure. See you next time. All Dang, right. that was so smooth. That was, yeah, was that smooth, was, man. I'm, I'm impressed. Oh, dude, bloopers are the best. I love bloopers. I love yeah. filming them, watching them. When, when I started doing the Freedom Breeder channel, the first couple of months were like n- normal, and I was just getting Jesse to like look at the camera and talk to it. Yeah. Um, but then I started adding the bloopers. Like it's a, it's one of the highlights of my week is going through and editing the Freedom Breeder episode and like picking which parts of like oh yeah that's that's funny. Now, yeah. Every week Hillary's like, what are you laughing at? And there she looks just like, oh, it's Thursday. Oh, okay. <laughs> but I think I think the strong thing you guys got going for you, the, you guys is um the dynamic between the two of you I think is your the strong thing about your channel. You know I mean? It's funny people keep saying that we hate each other. <laughs> That's, the, well, <laughs> as long as you're being <laughs> as long as you're being honest about it, hey, the more honest uh, interactions you can have with people on camera, I think that's what people really appreciate, man. Yeah, it's funny. Like in the beginning, we're like, oh man, that we got to re-video this. It's, it looks so awkward. But then everybody's like, man, you guys are awkward. It's really cool. And we're like, <laughs> you guys remind me of me and my friends. I'm like, all right, well, it's real easy being terrible at being on camera. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, we got that one nailed down. So, that's the best. <laughs> so we found our niche. So we're going to stay there. It's all yeah. good. <laughs> I like so. it. I'm glad you guys are recording already because this is the gold right here. <laughs> Somebody's trying to jack your car, man. Yeah, you hear that over there? Great. Yeah, <laughs> my kids are out there playing with my wife's key fob or something. <laughs> One of the great uh, <laughs> lovelies of yeah noise. If you're if you're an audiophobe like me, where I'm like, oh, I hear some little hiss back there. I gotta figure out how to fix that. Yeah. yeah. And then stuff like this happens, or people running across the top of the floor. I'm trying to record a video. It's like, oh. thanks, thanks. <laughs> You heard it here first. Not a expert. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you heard it here first. Uh, we have Brian Cusco making ball python scrub python hybrids. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, they'll be available uh, 2021. <laughs> We're taking pre-orders now. Hundred dollar deposits. Yeah. Catch you on the list. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, it happens. Yeah, this, but, you see what else is happening here? This, the sinking microphone. It's like, oh, sorry, I swear this has never happened to me before. <laughs> and now Dave Kaufman's calling me on the freaking. Apparently, I get phone calls on my computer now. This, <laughs> I purposefully. Oh man, you should you should stuff off. You should put him on. Kaufman, put him on speakers. Shut him up. <laughs> <laughs> Messing with Dave has become one of my uh, new favorite pastimes. <laughs> it's cool, man. Well, yeah, definitely appreciate all you're doing. Uh, keep up the good work. You're, you're uh, really getting out there. Uh, stay home, though, right now. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah.